The National Center for Oncological Adron Therapy is a, a facility where patients affected by tumors are treated with particles. We are now in the heart of this center where the machine, the synchrotron that produces the particles is located. This machine that was developed by Knau Foundation together with many collaborating institutions, in particular the National Institute of Nuclear Physics in Italy and CERN in Geneva and GSI in Darmstadt. This machine, I was saying, uh, is uh, a machine that is very similar to those uh, that are used for uh, basic physics, uh, for studying uh, the interaction of the particles, but is a machine that has been conceived uh, and studied uh, in particular to treat patients. This is very important because uh, it means that the uh, concept of safety, of efficiency, of uh, reliability of this machine uh, are of paramount importance. After the uh, realization, we obtained recently the C label of this machine. So Knau is the producer and can use this project also elsewhere in the world. This is very important because uh, adron therapy with protons and carbon ions is becoming a very important modality to treat with success the patients. The beams of particles, I was saying protons and carbon ions, are produced first in the sources. The two sources that are located in those boxes are like ovens in which we inject gas and from this gas with electromagnetic fields we separate protons and carbon ions. The beam are produced by the sources and then are accelerated in a linear injector. In that part that is six meters long, the energy of the particles is increased by a factor 1000. They reach roughly one third of the velocity of light and this velocity is sufficient for them to make the first turns in the synchrotron. The synchrotron is the circular machine that you see has a diameter of 25 meters at a circumference of 80 meters and the particles travel at least 1 million of turns so 30,000 kilometers in half a second to reach the energy that is needed to arrive in the body of the patient where the tumor is located. When the energy is correct some components are turned on and the beam is extracted from the machine and directed toward the patient so that we can very precisely deliver the damage to the cell of the tumor avoiding the irradiation of the healthy surrounding cells. The Knau Foundation has been created by the Health Ministry in the year 2001 with the purpose to build this center. This center has been mainly financed by the Italian Health Ministry together with Region Lombardy and also private investors. The biggest one is Fondazione Cariplo. In December 2013, we completed the experimental phase of the Knau. That is, we demonstrated that uh, the Adron therapy application is uh, feasible in safety and with good and expected results. So from 2014, we are starting the normal activity, the normal operation of the facility. Patients will be treated mainly within the national health system and patients will be selected from all Italy by 
hospitals that will select and send in an efficient way the patient to be treated at Knau. In regime operation, we estimate to arrive to treat more than 2,000 patients per year with good results and giving them hope to be cured from their diseases. the treatment room in the Knau Center and uh, this is in particular room number two which is our central room which is very peculiar because we have two treatment lines one horizontal fixed beam one vertical fixed beam and here you can see all the set of uh, patient positioning systems and patient verification system which are made up by an integrated system consisting of three specific devices one robotic couch, which is able to handle the patient with very high accuracy in six degrees of freedom, putting the patient in the right treatment position and correcting the patient with a very high positional accuracy. We have an optical tracking system, which is able to acquire in three dimension some features which are opposed to the surface of the patient and which are checked in real time to understand whether the patient is in the right position or not and that is able also to send a correction vector to the patient handling system in order to arrive to the best setup for therapy purposes. And then we have an imaging system which is mounted on an in-room robotic device which is able to position a couple of x-ray tube and flat panel in the proper imaging position and is able to acquire projections, x-ray projections, which are compared with corresponding uh, images which are derived directly from the treatment plan. Together, all these systems are able to provide us with the highest accuracy possible in order to be sure that immediately before sending the therapeutic beam to the patient, the patient in, in himself or herself is exactly in the same position and in the same configuration as he or she was during the treatment planning so that we are sure that we are able to transfer to the patient the treatment plan in the best way possible. The robotic device in particular has been a project, a custom project together with CNAO and the Politecnico di Milano University and we have used and designed and used in this uh, specific application a robotic industrial manipulator which is a Kawasaki robotic capable of uh, moving in six degrees of freedom with a very high repeatability and this is necessary for us because we when we want to acquire images, we want to be sure that the, these images are acquired from a very specific and a priori known geometry of imaging in order to be able to uh, uh, define and estimate the proper correction vector for our patient. Uh, on this industrial manipulator, we have mounted a C-arm structure, which was specifically developed for this purpose. And on the C-arm structure, we have mounted X-ray tube, one X-ray tube from uh, a very well-known vendor from Varian, and a flat panel detector that is uh, able with a very high spatial resolution to reconstruct the image. The device is used both for acquiring double projections, double static projections, which are then compared with corresponding images coming from the treatment plan, and is also able to perform what we call a volumetric acquisition, that is also known as cone beam CT. So a real in-room computer tomography that is capable to reconstruct the entire volume of our patient so that we can explore by means of medical imaging our patient immediately before irradiating the patient and we can do that in three dimension. We can compare the whole volume of the patient with the one which is represented in the tomographic uh, axial slices which are acquired for the treatment plan. The best feature of this device is its geometrical repeatability. It is a very accurate system 
capable of moving with a peak error lower than 0.3 millimeters in all three dimensions. And this kind of motion accuracy is the same accuracy that features also our patient positioning system and our capability to acquire and uh, represent in three dimension the surface features which are captured by the optical tracking system. In uh, whole, the, uh, uh, this three subsystem compose a very well integrated system which is then used routinely for uh, checking our patients both in head and neck area for treatment in head and neck and for treatment, extracranial treatment. The future for this system is to make it able to follow moving organs and to track moving tumors in order to be able to perform the so-called dynamic radiotherapy or 4D radiotherapy. We want to add one additional dimension to the three dimension, which is the time, in order to be able to deliver our beam in time, resolved in time, to, to be able to track the tumor motion with our beam and be sure that we are delivering the correct dose even if our target is mobile, is moving due to respiration or other kind of movement. This is the current future for particle therapy not only in Italy but worldwide and we are proud to say that we are very uh, in deep part of this uh, research and development process which will all, um, aim to grant even more accurate uh, capability for treating our patient in the oncology field. Music